16 years of my life wasting away without a warning. All right, now I can start. Hi, Chad. Hello, hello, hello. I feel so bad that it's so late and I promised you to do it yesterday, but I did it now. I'm so sorry. Peace of cake. Thank you so much for the four months, though. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And Chunky Goddess for the four months. Let's go. It's been four months already. That's crazy. Uh, and Krisa and Tofu. Oh my god, everyone. Sapnap 4547. Thank you, everyone, for all the subs. I guess I haven't streamed in a while. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. Thank you, thank you. Why do we not hear them, though? Why do we not hear? Oh, it's very quiet. There we go. It should be better now, question mark. No, here. This one it is. Yeah, there we go. Now we hear them. Cool, cool. Hi, chat. So, the Among Us puppet. Yeah, it's Jax. <laughs> it's Jax. Um, I found it in a suitcase when I was looking for paracetamol. Um, hey, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Uh, XCY Anbear. Cyan Bear. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so, the plan. The plan is... Oh! We have the wrong cat. We have the wrong cat chat. Where is he? Where is he? The staple of the... Of the alt stream. One second. We'll find him. We'll find him. Oh my god, he's not here. Chat, he's not here. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, why is he not here? Where is he? There he is! There he is, I found him. There he is. Perfect. Perfect. Now we can start. Now we're ready to start. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna read Passerine. Uh, probably just one chapter though, because um, for the people who don't know, I have hurt my voice, like my throat, um, during one of my streams where I had to cough like a lot because uh, it was really, because um, my throat was really dry. I had to cough a lot and I broke my voice and I hurt my throat. Um, so I'm probably only going to read one. Dream SMP Love, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. I'm probably only going to read one chapter and then we're going to play Life is Strange. Um, do you guys remember what chapter we were on? Was it chapter five? What chapter were, five? It was five? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hi, I figured, How are you doing today? but I wasn't quite I sure. Ah, well uh, thank you so much, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Um, I'm, I'm fine, yes, I'm good. Um, we went to the cinema earlier. We watched the new Marvel, Marvel film, which was really fun. Um, but yeah, that was cool, that was nice. Um, oh, what was it, DMCA, no, copyright free classic we listen to right copyright free classic there we go this is what we listen to which we're gonna do now i'm gonna start already i don't i'm not expecting many people to be here today mainly because it is very late um so um that's fine that is fine people can watch watch the vods if they want to see me read Passerine and play Life is Strange. Um, but for the people who are here, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. Um, it's always very fun to be here. And it's also always very fun to um, just hang out and chill. Happy to be here, even though ah. my schedule is slightly suffering. Oh, I'm sorry, Nick. Um, yeah, I know. It's very late for a lot of people. Um, so I don't expect many people to be here. Um, but like I said, for the people who are here, Thank you so much, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Um, let me quickly set up everything. Um, oh, no, that was wrong. That was audible. Um, where is Passerine? Where is Passerine? There it is. Is it working? It is not working. Oh, that is the wrong window. Let me quickly change that properties. Ah, you scared me. Hello. Hello. You huh? Yet, no. mm -hmm. I'm streaming. I'm live. You live right now? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Nah, you're lying. No, I'm it. not. I'm live. I don't believe it. I'm live. Why would Why would you be live right now at uh, such an hour? 
I know, right? Ah, oh, shit. Look, wow. look, 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 look. We have double Jack Manifold here now. I forgot I'm always on the alt stream. You are. You are, the, you are to, always on the alt stream. What do you want? Um, I don't mind. You don't mind? I don't mind. What? Oh, also, I hung up your hoodie here because it was on. I sat on it and I didn't want to sit on okay. it. Thank you so much for the sub, uh, Alex. I appreciate it. Let me change the sub box. That's Let a me. Cool fucking name, Bubba Alex. <laughs> Thank you. Well done, man. <laughs> We're reading Passerine. Have you ever read Passerine? Okay. I've seen well. an once. Yeah, the saddest one. Uh, we're reading that right now. Oh, yeah, it was saddest. Huh? It was saddest, you're right. Yeah, it was saddest, yeah. That one's the big one. Uh, that's what inspired me to read it. And I know that chat, like, that people like it. Um, but yeah, we can start now. Um, let me, let me see. Let me also change. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Chapter five, five, five. Pushing despair into your side. Again and again and again. Summary. Uh, do we have any trigger warnings this time? Yes, we have them down here. Um, it's death, deceptions of grief are the trigger warnings. Today, chat. Can you tell us what happened last time? I don't really remember much less than 33, Sarah. Ooh, what happened last time? Last time, Nikki died. I remember that. They had the war. Yeah. Yeah, they had the they had the big war um, with Sapped Up versus Technoblade, and Will uh, Will gave as a last resort gave his people the order to blow shit up basically, and a lot of people died. Um, Puffy died, Nikki died. I'm not sure about Tabo. I think Tabo is still alive, as far as we know. Um, Phil's back. Yes, Phil is back. Um, did Tommy die? No, who died? Was No. Is Tommy okay? Yes, no, Tommy died too. Tommy died too. So a lot of people died, and there was war. Um, and Phil is back now. Um, that's basically what happened last time. <clears throat> so yeah um summary dead he's dead he's dead and gone forever the voices were screaming clawing against the walls that techno had set around them and had tried to maintain for years awful wilbur will <laughs> can't, can't say wilbur it's so hard to say wilbur because i'm so used to saying will true all for wilbur all for tommy none of them was now now one of them was dead huh Oh, okay. Sorry to disturb your reading time chat. We also I'm um, a hungry boy. Um, um Sorry. Here you go. <clears throat> oh, that okay. was quick. Uh, uh now one of them was good. dead and the other one was dying. There was no doubt about it. Wilbur would not survive this, and neither would Techno. Or conversation, counting sins, and coming to terms with the cost of being a brother. <clears throat> okay. Uh, trigger warning, like I said, are these. Hi, Sushi. Hi, Nikki. I tested positive for COVID. <coughs> I am feeling RLL like uh, that. But seeing that you are streaming I'm sorry. Has made my day. I hope, I hope you, you stay well. safe. I hope you're all right. I hope it's not, you know, a bad COVID. Um... Anyways. I love you so much and I just want to say that you are my favorite Twitch streamer heart. Oh, thank Keep you. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, I'm not going to uh, in uh, interrupt anymore though. So if you want to send something, I will react to it after this chapter. <clears throat> he first held Tommy in a sun sunlit room. He had come earlier than expected. Than expected was such a small thing, so much smaller than his brother had been. The midwives had told them they were there was a chance they could lose him within the hour, and his wife had cradled the newborn against her chest, sobbing against his pale skin. My baby, he cried, my little fighter, be brave, Tommy, be strong. But Tommy was so still in his mother's arms. Filza had stood, yeah, Filza had stood at her bedside, watching her coo and cry at a baby that did not stir. He had lived a million lives, and 
all its miseries combined could not compare to the pain of being a mourner at his son's birth bed. And as the minutes churned on, healers of the growing abyss inside his chest, he found that he could not even cry. It was a sadness too big for tears, a grief too infinite to measure. And when his wife had offered the baby to him, to give him a chance at saying goodbye despite her own despair, Phil said it's something that he would never forgive himself for. He hesitated. He looked at the silent bundle in her arms, dead before he could even live, and felt the fracture in his heart grow. His, this was the fate of humanity eventually. It did not matter if Tommy lived to be the next lived to the next year, the next decade, or the next breath, he would still one day die. Bitter and numb and hateful of the world, Filza wondered if, there, if it were better that Tommy died now. Before Phil could grow to love him more, people mourned the beauty of a wilting, wilting rose, but an unblooming bud would give a quieter heartache. But Tommy wasn't a flower. He was Tommy. He was Phil's son. And he loved him now as much as he could love him later. Though later might never come. But his arms were made of stone. They would not rise as much as he willed them to. If he held Tommy now, he knew he would never let go. He would follow his baby to his grave. And then there he was. Sneaking past the guards and the midwives passing under a grieving god's notice, he climbed up into bed, smiling at his mother, apparently ob oblivious or immune, as often starry-eyed ch children were, to the anguish that coated the very air of the room. Is this my brother? Wilbur asked, leaning over the baby in his mother's arms. May I hold him, mother? A lump formed in Phil's throat. He turned away before Wilbur could catch sight of his face, and when he turned back around, Wilbur had Tommy in the gentle crook of his arms. The sunlight slanted over them, and Phil wanted to remember them like that forever. His two beautiful sons, immortalized in gold. Wilbur's earth-brown curls in hid his expression as he bent over the baby, murmuring something Phil almost didn't catch. And the baby began to cry. Wilbur pulled back, astonished, his face drawn in awe. What is it? he asked frantically. Did I do something wrong? No, Phil sobbed, falling to his knees before the three of them, his lovely, laughing wife, his kind, bewildered Wilbur, and his loud, shrieking Tommy. You did everything right, my boy. You're perfect. Now Wilbur held his brother, a baby no longer, but still so, so small, to his chest as they walked through the quiet, empty camp. Wilbur spoke the words he'd first spoken to his brother all those years before, over and over, like an enchantment or a prayer to bring him back to life once more. I will love you forever. I will love you forever. I will love you forever. But this time... Tommy did not wake up, and Filza was still made of stone. He walked to the ruins alone. Night had fallen, but the moon and stars were hidden by heavy clouds, cloaked the earth in darkness. The sky itself was morning. Tabo moved through the gloom, the torch in his hand creating shadows that seemed to reach out towards him like helpless ghost. He stepped mindlessly over the rubble, his feet meeting dirt and stone, and sometimes the flesh of falling comrades. Hello? Hi. I'm joining story time. Okay. Or an enemy. But did that matter anymore? That had not been as lucky as him. His ears were still ringing from the explosion, and his bones felt like a house of cards, one whisper away from collapsing. But he was alive. He was alive when all the others were not. <clears throat> when the dust had settled, the survivors had come crawling out the wreckage. Tabo had counted. They had been warned, of course. They had heard the king's signal and run as fast as they could, but not all of them were fast enough. 
The royal army had left the capital city with 20,000 soldiers. In the end, only 800 remained. Not all of them had been lost to explosions. Most of them had already been dead by the time the mountains fell, slain by enemies and their cavalry. But the smell of sulfur still hung in the air like an accusation. Following Tabi, Tabi, <laughs> following Tabo as he made his rounds, he was meant to be looking for for other survivors. But Tabo had come to know a thing or two about lost causes. He could walk his valley for days, and all he'd find be broken remains of two armies, a mass grave that would honor no one. In a century, people would walk his land again and see only green hills blooming with blue flowers. Are you just, okay. Sorry, yeah, I'm here. I'm no, it's listening. all good. <coughs> just, uh, I'm, it's very weird now that I have an audience that is here and can give you me a real time reaction. Literally there are 3,165 people listening and I'm just I the, know. the 3,166. Okay, okay. Um, anyway, <clears throat> oh, this is, this is not a good song for this. Um, yeah, that's a good song. Um, the prince was dead. That was what they were saying. Killed in the final moment of the war, its last casualty. A month ago, Tabu had watched the prince laugh on a balcony, his face lit from within. Now there was no light left anymore. Overhead, the clouds broke open and the heavens began to weep. It was raining outside. Techno could hear air drops purring against the roof of the tent and creeping through the cracks but the boundless cold he felt was from something else entirely he'd collapse on the ground the moment that entered the tent shivering with his arms around his knees unable to feel anything beyond the rest the rentless chill it felt as if bloodstream had frozen over with brutal ice lace? i don't know what it's called what it is stabbing into into him from the inside out and when he tried to duck his head into the dark embrace of his arm a single blue petal had fallen against his skin no he'd run his hand roughly through his hair pulling back strains out from the roots in his desperation to remo remove the last of the morning glories out of the tangles of his head of his braid blood flowed from the places where his fingernails scrapped against the skull but Techno found that he didn't care. He couldn't care. The whole world could burn around him and all he would be thinking about were the flowers still caught in his hair. Their saccharine scent like poison in his lungs. He clutched the flowers in his head, blood-stained and trembling, and threw them as far across the room as he could, where they landed at the feet of the king. Um... He clutched the flowers, no, wait, Wilbur sat at the cot his brother slept, used to sleep, in, clutching the broken boy to his chest. He was rocking back and forth, muttering words Techno could not comprehend as he pushed the hair back on Tommy's pale, unmoving face. Dead. He's dead. He's dead and gone forever. The voices were screaming, clawing against the walls that Techno had set around them and had tried to maintained for years all for all for wilbur all for tommy now one of them was dead and the other one was dying there was no doubt about it wilbur would not survive this and neither would techno blood the voices demanded blood for the blood god his hands curled into fists so tightly his nails broke the skin of his palm blood trickled down his hands but it would not be enough he wanted a massacre he wanted violent vengeance, and there was nothing and no one the other side of his, on the other side of his anger, and all their enemies were dead. There was nowhere to go but inward. Techno's knife was still lodged in Tommy's chest, in Tommy's heart. Your fault, the voices began. Blood flows you, follows you everywhere you go. Did you think you could run, outrun it? He thought, he'd, he, thought he had. By God's, for once in his damned life, he thought he'd finally found somewhere safe. Somewhere where no one knew his bloody past or cared to. Somewhere with clear skies and warm gardens where he could pretend to be something he could never be. Mortal. And now it all came crashing down around him. His fears, his naive, 
naivete. This was the cost of those Halcon days. He should have left the first chance he got. He should have never met them at all. Wilbur, the name scratched his throat. He could barely hear himself speak. He tried again, putting as much strength in his words, words as there was left in him. Wilbur let him go. Out of the corner of his eye, he could see Filza raise his head from the silent seat in the corner. He had not said a word since his arrival, not even as they marched back to the tent with Tommy's dead body between them. For once, Techno was glad for his silence. If he heard Filza's voice right now, he might just put his trident through the man's chest. Techno struggled to his feet. Uh, Techno struggled to his feet when it was clear Wilbur's when Wilbur was not listening to him. His legs threatened to collapse under his own weight, and he caught himself on the edge of the planning table. He carved wooden soldiers with the car where carved wooden soldiers were still stood at attention for a war that was already over. It's all over. <clears throat> we need to fix him up, Wilbur, Techno said, his words coming out ragged. He staggered towards Wilbur and hand outstretched. Wilbur's head snapped up the su snapped up the sudden motion, his eyes wide and furious. Get away from us, he growled, pressing Tommy closely. Tommy closer against himself. The movement made Tommy's head lull to the side, allowing Techno to truly see his face in the candlelight for the first time. Techno's breath hitched. Yeah, uh, tech sorry, I, I need to like look on my other screen to see if you can still see the, the, the thing that we're reading, but you can, which is good. <clears throat> Techno's breath hitched in his throat. Tommy looked so peaceful, as if, they were, as if he was simply sleeping. As if any moment now his eyes would flutter open and he'd grin up at the both of them, easily diff diffusing the tension as only Tommy could. Wake up, Techno begged, prayed, wished, please wake up. But he never would again. You can't hold him forever, Techno spat. For God's sake, Wilbur, there's still a dagger in his chest. Wilbur looked down at the still bundle in his arms. Noticing, this, noticing the state of his brother for the first time. Absently, mechanically, he reached out to wipe a streak of dirt from Tommy's chest. His expression grew, incre his expression grew increased as the stubborn soil clung furiously. I cannot read this said this this word chat. Fe ferociously. ferociously, thank you, to his brother's skin, and Techno feared he might just wipe Tommy's flesh down the bone. Now I can actually ask someone how to, to say all these words. There's so many words in here that it's I okay. don't know. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> Are you trying to peel him? Techno demanded angrily. Wilbur looked up at him with a look of unbridled wa wrath, but did not reply. With us. R wrath. Yeah, no, I'm wrath. not. Uh, no, I'm not questioning wrath. I just, oh. I was just poking my head in front. Okay. I saw people <laughs> in chat being like, "Oh, Jack's there." I was like, <laughs> "You can, you can sit next." I know I can, but I thought it was funny. Okay. But I'm um, okay. I'll be. Do you want ah! to move? Do you want... No, you don't have to. Okay, never mind. She did. Okay. Um, wrath with a scoff. Techno took a stray piece of cloth hanging off the table and marched to the tent flaps. He drew them open and leaned out into the rain, catching the cold raindrops with the cloth until it was damp. Cold water slipped down his wrist, but it was, distant, it was a distant feeling felt by another man in another time. When he turned back to them, Wilbur was still clinging to Tommy like a lifeline. Let him go, techno order. Wilbur shook his head silently, his shoulders trembling. I can't. Wilbur, I said I can't. Wilbur stomped towards him until he was standing over uh, Techno stomped towards him until he was standing over Wilbur. Of course you can. It's easy. Just open your damn arms and put him on the bed. Wilbur glared. I w it would be easy for you, wouldn't it? Techno ra narrowed his eyes at him. What's that supposed to mean? Cold. Everything was cold. Cold in his lungs. Cold in his heart. Cold in the very depth of his soul. If he had what? if he still had one there we go cold from the rain cold from tommy's skin cold from wilbur's damning eyes 
Thunder cracked in the distance. It was going to be a long night. <clears throat> it's easy, he said. Just open your damn arms. Wilbur didn't know if he wanted to laugh or wail at Techno's words. That this music is too happy for this chat. Maybe it's the... Um, yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, you can't hear music. I can't. I was really confused when you said that. <laughs> there, I can now. <clears throat> okay. Um, there was nothing easy about anything anymore. Every breath left like inhaling broken glass. Every thought was ragging shriek. There was blood in his mouth from where he'd bitten the inside of his cheek just to keep himself from screaming. And by God, did he want to scream. He wanted to tear the whole world apart with his bare hands, burn and salt it, leave nothing behind, not even one whisper of what once was. It did not deserve even the memory of Tommy. Wilbur didn't know if he... Oh, no, you heard me. There we go. Wilbur hissed at the man standing before him, both of them glovering, but not truly seeing each other. Everything comes easy to you, doesn't it, blood god? Techno's brows drew together in anger. You don't get to throw that back in my face. Not tonight, not after everything I did for you. Wilbur's arms trembled. He looked down at his brother's sleeping face. Sleeping? Sleeping? He isn't sleeping. He's dead. Dead. With a rattling breath, Wilbur traced the curve of Tommy's cheek, stopping where it used to dimple when he smiled. And, when, and then Wilbur looked down at where a knife still jugged out of his chest like a violent reminder. Fresh tears stung his eyes, and he tried desperately to blink them away before they could fall. And still a rebel tear... And still a rebel tear found its way down his face, caving his dirty cheek in half. Death. Such a small word for such a big thing. Wilbur hadn't even wanted Tommy on the battlefield in the first place. He had planned to leave Tommy at the castle where he would be safe behind walls and his own personal army of guards. But Techno, goddamn Techno, had talked him out of it. Tommy is stronger than you'd think like to admit techno had said and smarter than anyone gives him credit for and if you leave him behind you will not only lose an ir irreplaceable asset you will also lose your brother's love don't stand there and tell me that tommy will allow you to fight this war without him and you will what you will do when he what will you do when he inevitably protests lock him in his bedroom shackle him to the wall you tried to protect him once before and look where that got you. And so, Wilbur had taken his brothers to the, f his brother to the front lines, ordered the tailors to make him a uniform that Wilbur would have killed to never see him wear, and then he'd sent his brother, his baby brother, his Tommy, off to the slaughter. And now he was dead, dead in the red and blue colors of the family that failed him one last time. No, the voices hissed. Not your family. Wilbur met Tommy. Uh, Wilbur met Techno's eyes once more. This is your fault, and Techno was right in the end. It was damnably easy for Wilbur to stand, open his arms, and place Tommy down to the cot, before his body had moved on its own. But this time, every action was deliberatable. Deliberate. Deliberate. De deliberately, he shrugged. He shrugged off his torn and bloody coat and put his and put it over Tommy to keep him warm if warmth was something dead body still felt deliberately he tucked a loose strand of Tommy's hair behind his ear deliberately Wilbur let his brother go deliberately he turned and faced Technoblade anger it seemed was a stronger emotion emotion than sorrow I need water need water yes do we have water no, that's empty. I can, can kill you it. Give me water? Yeah. Thank you. That's okay. <clears throat> um, anger was, it seemed like strong emotion and sorrow. Technoblade's eyes were gleaming in the flickering candlelight. He still held a wet cloth in his hand, but he clutched it so fiercely, Wilbur would not be surprised if it was merely shreds by now. <clears throat> be very careful, Techno drawled. Of what you're about to say to me, Wilbur. You told me to bring him here. 
will be flung, the accusation like an arrow to a, from a bow, watching it strike its mark. And you were their target. Were you... We're all just collateral fucking damage for all the shit you've done. The past caught up to you, Technoblade. Why the hell did you have to bring us all down with you? Thunder crashed around them like vicious da war drums, followed by a flash of lightning that bat bathed everything in, ghastly, in a ghastly glow. Technoblade and Wilbur sh stared at each other. Oh, other. Sorry. <clears throat> Starting again. Technoblade and Wilbur stared at each other across the flowers drawn gap that grew between them with every word. There were two ghosts in limbo, twin stars drawn to each other's collapsing gravities. Thank you. That's okay. You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. I know, I need to clean the office. Oh. <clears throat> I'm aware. Um, Wilbur remembered that day clearly. The day the first one of the spies' reports had come in, confirming what the voices had been whispering tauntingly for weeks. Wilbur, as always, had called for Technoblade, uh, Technoblade's advice, and Technoblade had read the massive missives once, looked up, and simply said, I could kill them all. Wilbur had flinched. Techno, that's not... Okay. <clears throat> um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Techno, that's not... I could, you know I could. Techno Black had leaned over his desk meeting Wilbur's... No, this is, this is a bad song too. I need to get new... I need to get a better playlist chat, sorry. Um, okay, this says C, C minor, but I think this is... A yeah, we can do this one. Um, uh, Technoblade had leaned over his desk, meeting Wilbur's in, 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 uh, incredulous, incredulous stare with hazy eyes. Just say the word. Wilbur had not. They'd argued like they'd never argued before, like they were arguing now. And Technoblade had left, slamming the doors of Wilbur's office with such force it rattled the books of his sleeves. And then, not even a day later, the Green Army had massacred an entire city at the borders. Had Technoblade been right then? Was Technoblade right now? We were found it didn't matter. He didn't care. All he wanted was to rip and tear his fury would not discriminate. Ah, Technoblade. Wilbur shook his head full ru ruefully. Yes, ruefully. Always choosing violence at every turn. Technoblade inhaled slowly. You don't know what you were talking about. Oh, don't I? Wilbur watched Technoblade's features wrist in surprise and grim anticipation, quickly hidden by a veneer of indifference. Did he know what was coming? Did he fear it was mu Did he fear it as much as Wilbur was eager to twist the knife? Tommy didn't know about where where you go off on your little nightmare escapades. But I do. Wilbur finally said, finding a grim sort of delight in the way Techno froze on the spot. Did you think I wouldn't notice? Did you think I wouldn't ask questions or follow you? You're an idiot, Wilbur, Techno said, his words nothing less than venomous. Wilbur only smiled the face of his fury. Did you at least have fun murdering your way through the woodlands, Techno? He'd been 17 when he found out. In truth, he didn't even know, know he'd arrived at that forest. He didn't even know he'd arrived at that forest. It was exactly like the first time he'd ever seen Techno leave. All those years ago, when the raging voices had followed him into the darkness and he'd woken up somewhere with no recollection of who he'd gotten there, how he'd gotten no, of who he'd gotten there. But all of his confuse, confusion had been quickly replaced with fear as he stopped, as he spotted Techno moving between the trees, stalking after something crawling across the forest floor, or something, or not something, someone. Sorry, Chad. <clears throat> I've been reading too fast. <clears throat> oh, 
Wilbur had pressed himself against the trunk of a tree, his hands clamped over his mouth, barely able to breathe as Techno Spray begged for his life. And then he'd heard the distinct sound of a sword being freed from a scarboard. Scarboard? Ah, a scabbard, yeah. Yeah. One scream, and then wet thud. That was all before Wilbur passed out once more. When he awoke, he was in his own bed at a castle, his heart thudding in his chest, but completely unharmed. He'd taken a deep breath, glad to brush it all off as a nightmare, before he noticed the single green leaf clutched in his hand. He'd never spoken of it, until now. Go on then, Wilbur said as Technoblade simply stared at him, breathing heavily. Tell me you've changed. Tell me you don't know what I'm talking about. Tell me you aren't the same bloodthirsty god from the stories. I expected you, of all people, to understand. Technoblade's voice sounded strained, like a taut rope. Like a taut rope one pull away from unveiling, unraveling. You know the voices, they don't let go. They demand their fill, Wilbur, and sometimes it's unstoppable. But I've been trying so goddamn hard. There it was, the crack. A hairline fracture slowly fissuring into something more. If you really were following me, you'd know I haven't killed anyone for years before today. I stopped. I fought the voices off, even if it took everything from me. You think you got me pegged, Wilbur? All you need to define me as, uh, de define me by was you and Tommy. But go ahead and find other definitions if that will make you happy. Let's see if you still have anything left in me to care. Let's see if I still have anything left in me to care, sorry. The music matched really well for a bit there. I know, it did. That I was crazy. Was like, that was Yo, good. That was shit. good, yeah. <clears throat> that made Wilbur pause, if only for a second. When then where have you been going? Looking for your father? Technobase spat as the words fell between them like a dead weight. Wilbur turned towards the man in question, but his father had not moved in ages, stuck, sitting with his head head in his hands, oblivious to the thunderstorm around him. Not one word, not one move. Of course, he thought bitterly, taking in his father's slumped shoulders and the obsidian wings tucked close around him. Why would I expect anything different? Wilbur wanted to feel angry at him, wanted his vision to grow red every time he caught a glimpse of his father's golden hair in his periphery. periphery. Thank you. I would have failed with that. No, you got it right. You said it a long time, mate. It's just you paused to do the music. So I was like, oh, she's confused. But you actually got it right. That's good. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> in his periphery, God and his father's hair. But he only had his pity. Wilbur had not seen his father in years. But looking at him now, he didn't see the cold, distant king of the past. He only saw a pathetic excuse of a man. Someone who'd abandoned his sons. sons who only returned after all the hard decisions had been made. After Wilbur had been forced to make them, he didn't want to spare a single thought more on the laughable side of his father, sitting leagues away from his Tommy's body's body, not even bothering to meet the eyes of the only son he had left. That's right, Techno said roughly, catching Wilbur's attention once more. The blood god stood with his fists clenched at his sides, trembling with fury. Wilbur had never seen his eyes so hateful, not even when he was craving, carving his way through the battlefield. Wilbur re re reveled. reveled in it. Thank you. I went out every night for years, ignoring the voices, ignoring everything, to look for your father, to give him back to you, because I saw you, every meal you missed, every hour you spent studying poli politics instead of sleeping, every time you felt you were choking, I saw it there, I was there for you, and I killed me, so I went off to look for someone to help you, I tried telling you I've changed, I only bite when my family's in danger, but you still see me as someone, some sort of rabid dog. And those people, 
I did kill in the forest, they were criminals, Wilbur. As if it changes anything, tell me that the army you just blew up into smithereens. You set those explosives. And you gave the order. So where does this leave us? For a moment, they simply stood there, staring at each other and catching their breaths. <clears throat> the storm still racked outside, but some bit of it was living inside of Wilbur's chest. This was the end game. Wilbur knew there was they were standing on a precipice. 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 It's weird. If only one of them jumped now. Precipice. Um, yeah. They were lost to each other forever, and so were Wilbur leaped. Maybe it was better Tommy died before he found out what you were. He said slowly, deliberately. <laughs> you must be happy. At least now. You'll never get the chance to know just what sort of monster you truly are. Technoblade moved in a flash. Wilbur had anticipated it, but still couldn't help a gasp of surprise as Techno barreled into him, sending both of them sprawling on the ground. Wilbur's head cracked against the packed earth, but the sting was a welcome one. Technoblade kneeled over him, his fist curled around the collar of Wilbur's shirt. Wilbur could feel Technoblade's anger radiating from him like, a, like heat from a ragging forest fire. But when he looked into his old tutor's eyes, he could only see his own wrenched smile reflected back at him. Technoblade pulled one fist back, his entire body trembling. Go ahead, Wilbur said. Prove me right. Oh, that's food. Food. There was a split food. second where Wilbur oh. thought Techno thought Technoblade would simply leave, like Wilbur had always been, always known he would, eventually. And then his fist collided with Wilbur's face. There was a sickening crunch, and lacing pain. And Wilbur knew from the amount of warm blood that dripped down the side of his face that Technoblade had broken his nose. Wilbur leaned back, looking up at Technoblade with wide eyes. Technoblade stared back at him with equal shock, the anger briefly ebbing from his face to reveal a genuine worry. I... Techno began, with Wilbur, but Wilbur cut him off with a derisive... Sorry, I can't read that. Snort. Um, that all you got? Blood God? he said, and promptly kicked Technoblade off him. Technoblade went flying and crashed against the cot right behind him. Wilbur's breath caught as he watched the cot tremble and then collapse. No! Technoblade reached his arms out, but he wasn't fast enough. Tommy's limp body fell to the floor with a hollow thud. For a moment, all was quiet. There was only the distant rumble of thunder. So far away now. Technoblade and Wilbur simply stared at Tommy's body lying in the dirt before them, like abandoned refu like abandoned refuse, like a toy once loved, now broken, discarded by a careless toddler's fickle hands. He hated himself for it, but his fist in his first instinct was to search the room for his father. He met his father's eyes as the old king slowly rose his seat his mouth a thin line of disapproval. Always disapproval. The voices hissed, even now, especially now. Wilbur wrenched his gaze away from his father's, only to be met with technoblades. His pale face, a study in grief. What the hell did we just do? Technoblade was oh what the hell did no, what the hell did we just do? Technoblade whispered, almost too quiet to be heard over the pouring rain. But Wilbur was already rushing to his feet. Before Technoblade could say another word, Wilbur ran. <clears throat> Are we doing some water chat? Hello. Hi. You can come here. Anna. I just felt like standing. Okay. Okay. You <laughs> just felt like standing. Yeah, I went on a fucking hunt for the cats because oh. they tried to get out after me. And oh, I did they? Uh, and then I couldn't find Zuko. I was like, oh, fuck. Are sake. they still in? Yeah, he's, he's under Rihanna's bed. Okay. I, I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. 
They try and leave with a rider. Well, Zuko doesn't, but Toph does. Toph, Toph tries to leave the apartment. Yeah, Toph did yeah. leave. But she, was, but she stands outside the door, and then I look at her, and she knows she's done wrong. So she runs back inside, and then I open the door, and I can see her still running into the kitchen. Yeah. She gets very scared. I'm a scary man, what can I say? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Don't. Bring <laughs> the pizza now. Um, I have it later. You can have it later. Okay. Yes. The, I have it when I play Life is Strange. <clears throat> okay. The warning was soft, but brooked no argument. Techno stopped at the edge of the tent where he'd been re reading to chase after Wilbur. Uh, turning towards the sound of Filzer's voice. Filzer had gathered Tommy's blood, body into his arms, but he was looking right at Techno. He needs a space, Phil continued, his blue eyes almost grey in the dim light. <clears throat> How would you know? Techno wanted to say, but his gaze fell and caught on Tommy. <coughs> Sorry. What was left of his anger evaporated into mist as he took in the stare of his, br his pupil. The blood and mud still on his skin and clothes, the dagger still pro protruding from his small, unbreathing chest, Phil held the body, w body with infinite gentleness. Tommy's head nestled against the crook of his arm. Tommy's cheek pressed against his chest, exactly like how he would hold a newborn baby, babe. Techno wondered when the last time Phil had held Tommy like that. Techno wondered when the last time Phil had Tommy held Tommy like that, if Tommy even allowed him to over the age of three and realized he did not really it did not really matter. Oh my god, the music just came just got really epic. <laughs> <laughs> She's an epic. A father's arms never forget the shape of a child. Sorry, chat. I know the playlist isn't the best, but it's, you know, it's it's okay. We we put it's up with it. It's classical music, and honestly, it I rate it. Yeah, we. I think some of them have really been good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's been it's been fine. Um. Is it good? I haven't eaten any of it yet, I'm just looking at it. Are you excited it. for it? Is, is, yeah. Are those mushrooms? No, they're anchovies. Oh, okay. I would have gotten a bit taken one. Yeah, I'm I'm not like <laughs> Garfield. I like anchovies on my pizza. <laughs> Garfield doesn't like anchovies, oh, just so you know. I see, I see. That's one of his many character traits. Fair enough. <clears throat> not that Techno knew anything about being a father or being a son. Techno not a big... Begrudgingly. Uh, begrudgingly. Begrudgingly at Philza. And we need to clean Tommy. Phil looked down at the body in his arms, his expression cloudly. I suppose we should. They moved quietly, carefully. Techno grabbed the cloth he dropped during his tussle with Wilbur and went to wet it in the rain, lingering in the cold to let the raindrops wash away the blood on his knuckles. Wilbur's blood. His stomach tightened as blood-stained water dripped from his hands but in a few moments his hands were clean once more when he turned back to tommy and phil he'd found that phil had taken the knife from tommy's chest is it yours is it yours there we go phil asked bitterly running his hands over the knife's carved handle you should know techno said you gave it to me phil looked up in surprise techno could only shrug unsure of where they stood now with each other it was a long time ago, Techno said. You gave me a whole set during the... Yes, Techno cut him off during that time. For the first time, Phil seemed to look his age. Ancient, ancient and weathered by his endless years. That's a good... <coughs> <laughs> I like this, I like this. He's old. And thus they are uh, immortal. Uh, Techno and Phil are gods that are immortal. That's why. Oh, but well, I mean, still, yeah. 32. You know? yeah, yeah. Ancient and withered is how I describe a 32 year old. <laughs> yeah. That's when midlife crises start kicking in. <laughs> oh, God. Um, <clears throat> Techno could see him remembering it all. Oh, God. This is the Star Wars. Is it the Star Wars music? I think it was. There was one that was quite similar. Um, oh, are you listening too? No. No, you're not listening. I have a pizza in my hands. Thank you. Is that correct though? A little bit. Just about. A little bit. Yeah, it's on. Okay. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Um, <clears throat> sorry, chat. Techno could see him remembering it all. Their empire of blood and glory, broken only by silent months of warm companionship. It seemed their bodies recall just as much as their minds did, because they slipped easy into their grim work, side by side, never needing to speak a single word. As Phil combined, uh, calmed the dirt out of Tommy's hair, Techno scrubbed the stains of his arms and the stubborn one of his cheek, and then Techno's breathing began to slow at the sight of the jagged wound on Tommy's chest. Phil silently worked Tommy out of his torn shirt and into a fresh one that did not bear the scars of their battle. They stepped back, surveying the work. Tommy was polished. Tommy was spotless. Tommy was dead. Of all the things that could have broken him, Techno didn't understand why it had to be the sight of Tommy actually looking clean. He'd held it together when they were walking back to camp. He'd held it together when Wilbur pinned him with accusations that simply echoed what the voices had been saying for years. Monster, monster, monster. They killed a thousand men. He'd killed a thousand men. He'd seen Ali's ev evis eviscerated. eviscerated and witnessed the fall of kingdoms. He'd seen Philza kneel. He'd seen the world end a hundred times over and watched his people it watched its people rebuild it over and over while he stood back, helpless, wanting to scream and uh, scream at them for being foolish but also yearning with all his might to be able to love something enough to also love what grew from its ruins. And looking at Tommy's peaceful face was that finally, finally, was what finally, finally made Technoblade. Emperor of Ice, Blood God. Destroyer of who else? Cry. He stood over Tommy's body and let the tears fall. He felt himself come undone with grief and guilt, misery and madness. And all at once he understood. He understood the anguish of the war god's eyes. He understood the pain of the windows, of the widows and orphans he'd left in his wake. He understood the agony of an empire world of an entire world, I can't read anymore, chat, brought to its knees before a merciless god, and he felt it all. A hand closed around his trembling shoulder. Techno. Filza's voice was a distant thing. We need to talk. Talk. Techno whirled around, shrugging Filza's hand off his shoulder. The only good simply backed away. The, only, the other god simply backed away, giving Techno his face. Techno hated that almost as much, hated that almost as much as the blank look and face of Fizza's face. Come on, Nikki, get yourself together. What is there to talk about? About? Fizza swallowed. Oh, about. Fizza swallowed. Leaning against the table as if he could not bear his own weight any longer. About why I left. Your son is dead. The world's tasted like ash in his tongue. His corpse is right in front of you. And you want to talk about yourself? Filza flinched. But that was the extent of his reaction. This is important. You have to understand. What is there left for me to understand? It's not over. Filza's eyes bore through him. The war isn't over. Techno exhaled heavily. Don't. Screw with me right now. I am done. I am finished. Would it help, Filza said slowly, if I told you the leader of the Green Army, its general, its ruler, whatever, is still out there? Techno blinked. Hot tears still sting in his eyes. What? Filza slips drew into a thin line. A habit Techno recognized from their empire empire days as something Filza did when he was trying not to scream. I left for thousands, for a thou- I left for a thousand different reasons, Techno. When my- when she died, I just knew. Through the pain of losing her was- though the pain of losing her was more than I could bear, I knew something would come. And it did come. Sooner than I expected, but it came. He glanced at Tommy, his expression Undecipherable. Undeci undecipherable. Undecipherable. The death 
Her death destroyed me, but I knew the day I lost my sons would be the day I destroyed the world. His eyes slid to Tecna. You understand that, I think. Thank you, by the way, for helping me with the world. Where, where That's okay. I'm eating pizza. Yeah, is it good? Mm. Good. Got on it. <laughs> Salty pizza. Are they good? An official quack tea right? Hello, everyone. We're reading Passerine, chapter five. And I'm eating pizza. And Jack's eating pizza and helping me with words that I cannot say. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dave. Big fan of Jack Manifold. Same. For real? Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Um... I do. Technoblade did not want to agree with him for a on anything, but there was no other explanation for the voices slowly getting louder and louder inside his head. He was beginning to lose himself. He already had. If he'd hurt Wilbur like that, it had only been a few hours. There was no telling what he could do, what he would become later. He stared at Filza for once, realizing that the angel of death might be called that for a reason. Um, we gods are different. Our grief is infinite, but so is our power. Filza looked down at his hands. No being sh should have both. Grief, an immortal, already does so much fucking damage. In us, it would be a thousand times worse. So I did the only thing I felt could save me, save everyone from my grief. Blue eyes found red. Have you heard of the green god, Technoblade? Techno found himself nodding. The green god. An infamous force, but a mystery to all. Technoblade had found the name carved into trees older than civilization and written into the mortal, mortal's holy texts. Filza smiled. The green god could bring him back. The rest of the world fell away. And its place and in its place, hope. Hello everyone! Hello, hello! Hey oh, you alright? Me and Pizza. Yeah, do you have a good stream, everyone? I'm sorry you're only here now because this might be very confusing for you. But like I said, we're reading Passerine, chapter 5. We're already on chapter 5, chat. Very cool. <clears throat> anyway, let's continue. Um, that's why. A single tear, the last of its kind, the last Techno could give, fell down Techno's cheek, warm and light. That's why you aren't breaking down right now. Oh, Filza gave him a sad smile. Believe me, old friend, I am completely losing it. I just had more practice at hiding it than you. Knowing I can revive my son doesn't do shit for the pain of seeing him die in the first place. And your wife? That sobered Filza quickly. Sobered Filza quickly. I don't know. The texts I read. I read, and there were millions, had conflicting stories about the green god's rules, what he can do and what he can and can't do. They all agree he is powerful, even more powerful than you and me combined, I reckon, but he can bring back Tommy, and right now, that's the only thing that matters. Techno was quiet for a moment. <coughs> <coughs> Simply processing the weight of Phil Phil's us revelation. Then he said, couldn't you have said that all before I broke Wilbur's face? Feels like grimaced. Grimaced. Grimaced, yeah. Grimaced. I'm sorry. I was, well, losing it. As I said, you know me. Techno nodded. I do know you. Always gone in the aftermath, aren't you? Techno. You could have stayed to explain, Techno said quietly, or you could have taken me with you. They both knew he wasn't talking about just Tommy anymore. Filza shook his head sadly. What gave me the strength to leave the, the night my wife died, Techno, was the knowledge that you were staying behind. I'd seen what you were becoming to the boys, and what the boys were becoming to you. I knew I could leave because they had you. But who did I have, Phil? Techno demanded. Filza's eyes widened. Techno, that's me and you, Techno went on, not hearing anything beyond the pounding of his, che of his own heart. That's what you said. So where, where, where were you when I was crashing through my entire library's worth of books? 
more streams like this. Thank you. I'm trying to do it. Well, today is Saturday, but I'm trying to do it Fridays. Um, and I have a few more things that I want to read. But I appreciate it. I'm glad you like it. Um, when I was crushing through an entire library's worth of books on history and politics and God damned etiquette just to fit in a life I never asked for. Where were you when Tommy was waking up from nightmares almost every night when Wilbur was pulling his hair over being king at 16? Where were you when the voices got so loud for the both of us that we had to take turns reminding each other to breathe? There was a sharp crack startling both Techno and Filza. They looked down at the table Filza had been leaning on, only to find a chunk of it had broken clean off in Filza's hand. Oh, Filza stared uncomprehendingly mm -hmm. at the cracked pieces in his hands. That's, he looked helplessly at Techno. What do I do now? Techno back crossed his arms. Apologize for one thing, for the table or for leaving? A Technoblade's unimpressed look feels that wrenched. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. What are you breaking? Are you no. breaking stuff? No, I'm breaking dancing. <laughs> Shit, look. Oh! <laughs> okay. That's all. <clears throat> what? Nothing. How <laughs> good? You want coke? Uh, yes. No, okay. Just, just can. Oh, did you, did you order me a diet coke? Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's okay. Aww. Um, <clears throat> okay, anyway. <laughs> um, a technolized, unimpressed look fills our wrenched. Sorry, that was my awful attempt at humor, I suppose. He took a deep breath, dropping the broken pieces from his hand. I know I have a lot to be sorry for. He began. <clears throat> Techno sighed. There's a go there's going to be a butt now, isn't there? I love this and you less than three. Thank you. But, as I continued, meeting Techno's disappointed stare head on, something close to sadness flickering over his face. We have the rest of our lives for an atom atonement. Atonement? Hmm? What? Atonement? Atonement. Okay. I will apologize to you every minute of every day once this is all over. I will never stop trying to make it up to you, but it ha it will have to wait once we're safe, once we're all home. He glanced pointless, pointedly at Tommy, then back at Techno. Like I said, this war isn't over. The green god is still out there. This was simply an invitation. An invitation? Techno. What? Huh? What? No, 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 I'm just reading. Ah. Yeah, that was a question in, in, in reading. Oh, okay, thank you. <clears throat> Techno yeah. thought about the thousands of corpses, enemy and alley, buried underneath the rubble of exploded mountains, his trident and whip, still slick with blood. What had the war god said? I'm merely a pawn in his game? This is all a joke to him? Filza nodded, tightly. Uh, Filza nodded tightly. <laughs> there was... There is more God than the both of us. He's more God than the both of us. You calling me a mortal, Filza? That depends. Filza smiled gently. Do you still think it's an insult? Techno did not reply. Instead, he turned towards the front of ten. The front of tent to the rain still raging outside. Someone needs to find Wilbur. Filza found him at the very edge of the hill, kneeling over a cluster of blue flowers. The rain pouring over his shoulders. He seemed numb to the cold, to everything entirely. But when Filza spread his wings over him, keeping the downpour away, his dark eyes flickered to his father, just for a second, just for a heartbeat. But it was acknowledgement, which was more than Phil could ever hope to deserve. Techno's words echoed in his head, each syllable leaving bleeding wounds that Phil would never show. Techno had already suffered so much, too much. Phil would rather die than add to that. Whatever apology he could come up with now would be meaningless. A small, pathetic scratch against an iceberg of his own making. Actions, after all, spoke louder than words. And Philza was nothing if not a man of action. King, exists, king, exists, king at 16, Techno had said, as if it was the worst thing to be. Now, looking down at his son, 
feels on you to be true. <clears throat> Wilbur was holding his own hand in his lap in the dark. Phil could only barely make out a jacket, barely a healed scar in his palm. He wanted to ask a million things at once. Are you okay? Who did what? Who did that? What happened? Will you ever forgive me? Forgive me? Forgive me? Forgive me? But he held his silence, even if it was the, even if it was the second most painful thing he had ever done. He waited and waited, and he would wait until the world ended, if it was what it took. And then, eventually, Wilbur spoke. It really was meant to be. I'm sorry? Filza asked gently. Yeah, Wilbur sighed heavily. You should be. Will, why didn't you visit? Wilbur asked suddenly, overheard light overhead lightning arched across the midnight sky and phil finally allowed himself to look really look at his son his jaw was sharper his shoulder was broader but underneath the blood and grime he and the haunted eyes it was still his boy his wilbur terrified of the dog or even write a letter anything wilbur uh, phil's heart shattered because if i did I allowed myself that foot in the door. I knew I would have had the courage to leave again. In the door, I knew I had the courage to leave again. I ha wouldn't have. <sighs> I, I'm reading okay. too fast. It's okay. That's it. I'm oh, no oh, okay. <coughs> I have no advice. You oh. just look stressed. Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. Sometimes I just I just start reading too fast and I start tripping up and making mistakes. You it's know? okay. Um... No, but it's fine. I thought you I thought you wanted to say something else. No, no, I was just <clears throat> just saying it's Yeah, fine. thank you. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. <clears throat> and did you ever think of us? Of course. Every second of every day. I never thought of you, Wilbur said. Or at least I tried not to. It was hard. I saw you everywhere, in the paintings, in the garden, down every hallway, in Tommy's eyes and Techno's words. He closed his scarred hand so tightly that the won't open once more, spilling blood into the grass. But that's strange. But what's strange is that I never saw you in me. Thunder echo echoed over the valley, but Philza barely heard it. I think that's a good thing, Wilbur. No, Wilbur gave a rueful shake of his head. No, it's not. I'm tired of pretending it is. I'm tired of everything. I wish I could be just like you and leave it all behind without looking back. That was enough. Filza went and kneeled before Wilbur, his hands you finding. Lots more streams like this. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I will. I will. His hands finding Wilbur's shoulder. Wilbur, Wilbur's expression crumbled, and Filza knew it was. It wasn't just rain dripping down his cheeks. Leaving you and Tommy, oh, leaving you and Tommy, Filza said, almost killed me, Wilbur. But I knew I had to, to spare you from exactly this. He shook him slightly, des desperately, just to get any sort of emotion behind those cold brown eyes. We can bring him back, Wilbur. This isn't the end. He told, he told Wilbur of his plans, of the years he'd spent hunting down every lead and every whisper of the green god who could rewrite history, rewind death itself. I know, Filza said. I know this doesn't... Abs absolve me or of the things I've done leaving you when your mother had just I thought I was protecting you from my world but I should have understood earlier you are my world you and Techno and Tommy and after this after the green god gives us your brother back we can go home together and you can be Prince Wilbur again if you want or we could just or we could go somewhere else find a place nobody knows our names and just be for a while, Wilbur was silent again. Speak, Phil's begged. Please talk to me. At last, Wilbur said, You know children don't really care about why their parents leave. They only care that they did. It's a blessing, I suppose, that I never truly was a child, even when I was young. He nodded once, almost to himself. And how sure are you that the green god will give us anything after all he's done? Because I will make him, the angel of, god, uh, angel of death vowed. 
Wilbur scoffed. Right. Techno told me about you, you know. Well, I guess you told me about Techno first, with your bedtime stories. Every time I pray to the gods, I've only ever been praying to you. And not much of a... Pios? <laughs> Man, no. No, that's okay. not what it is. Okay. That's the first one. <laughs> okay. That's a big one. Okay. <laughs> Wilbur gave him a ghost of a smile. But I suppose faith is stronger when tested, right? <clears throat> like, like, pie, pious? 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 I'll be honest, I've never seen oh. that one in my life. Okay, that's fair enough. <clears throat> I am happy you streamed on my birthday smiley face. Hey. I usually sleep to feces. Aww. So calming. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. Happy birthday. <clears throat> Before Phil Zach could say anything, Wilbur threw his arms around his father, pulling him t into an embrace. Phil Zach stilled a frozen, unmoving statue in his son's arms, and then he cracked. He leaned into Wilbur, his own arms going around Wilbur and pulling him close. He still remembered the last time Wilbur had allowed himself to be hugged like this by his father. He was older now, and heavier. But that was never meant, that would never matter. Phil had never forgotten his initial hesitation at holding Tommy. The shame he would follow the shame would follow him forever. But after that, he'd promised to hold his son for as long as they would let him, and he had sworn never to be the first one to let go. <clears throat> Phil had spent nine years, ten months, three days and sixteen hours away from his eldest son, and now <gasps> sorry. <clears throat> In the rain and in the dark, where nobody could see him cry, he was finally home. Wilbur buried his face in his father's shoulder, clinging on for the dear life. This isn't forgiveness, he whispered. I know, Filza whispered back, and you have a hell of a lot more explaining to do. I know, and when we get home, uh, when we get Tommy back, you'll have to bend over backwards to appease him. That boy holds grudges longer than I do. I know, Wilbur. I know. Phil felt Wilbur not against him. Then that's where we'll start. Uh, when they returned, Technoblade was waiting for the mouth, waiting at the mouth of the trident. Of the when they returned, Technoblade was waiting at the mouth mouth of the tent, to the light, the light behind him making him barely more than a shadow. In left hand was a rolling. <laughs> What's she doing? I don't know. I was looking and I okay. felt like it was falling. Okay. It is left How hand. far does this go? Pretty far. Is that it? Am, uh, I, am I good now? I think so. I feel in danger. This does not feel <laughs> secure. I'm going back. Okay. It freaked me out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got scared. That's okay. That's okay. Are you not scared anymore? No, I was, I'm good. stood now. I'm not going to fall. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, please. I don't need to change the vibe. I'm changing the vibe. I'm it's sorry. It's okay. That's all good. I don't don't worry. To change I'm, the vibe. I'm almost done with this uh, chapter. In his left hand was a hat, was a roll of bandages ready for Wilbur's north. nose. Wilbur found himself grinning, a grip already on his tongue, but was silenced as Techno crossed into the rain and wrapped Wilbur in his arms. Wilbur sunk wordlessly into the gods' embrace, and both of them were finally warm. Forgis forgiveness came easy with brothers, after all. The angel of death looked on quietly. He would not be welcome for, his, for this moment, not when there was too much between the three of them still, but he knew some day he would be again. One day, the four of them would be together in a home full of sunlight, looking forward to the distant time Filza finally felt peace. Inside the tent, a golden-haired prince slept on. Hey! I thought he was dead. He is dead. What's he sleeping for then? Well, Chunky Goddess, thank you so much for the sub. Wait, you subbed again? Did you did you make yourself longer? I'm not sure. But I just don't understand. I just don't understand. But um, I said I'm only gonna read one chapter today, so that was the chapter. We shall move on to uh, Life is Strange now. How many chapters are there left? I think there are seven chapters, right, chat? Do you like that? Um, 
you so much for the gifted sub, Simply Sue. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna finish. I'm probably... Mm, oh, actually, no. The next chapter is really long. Maybe. I might finish next time or it will be another stream. How long is the seventh chapter? Let me see. Oh, no. Those are, like, both really long chapters. Except, especially the seventh one. Okay, we'll probably have two more streams with Passerine. Um... Mm. But I hope you enjoyed that. Let's move yep. on to Life is Strange. Did you enjoy that? Yep. Yeah. I liked it. Did you? Did you? Yep. I did got you... quite involved actually. Did... Oh, I'm glad. Did you? Did you understand much of it? Uh, considering until you they added really that that pious word, and then I was right confused. Oh yeah. That threw me out. I don't know what that means. True. What does that mean? Ah, oh, thank you. And thank you for the sub anniversary. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Bisa, thank you so much for the gifted sub. And mm. Sammy, thank you so much for the sub. Why can I not log into my Steam right now? Type and password on it. There we go. I think I got it now. Nice. Have you played Life is Strange before? Nope. Do you know Life is Strange? Do, do I'm, I'm aware that life itself is a strange thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, life is strange. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, look, this is this, this is a weird... You fucking read the story for a job. Life is strange, Yeah, man. I know, right? Life is strange. I know, right? All right, Mods, if you are here, are you able to change the category? If not, I will change it. Nikki, your voice is extremely calming when you're reading or just in general. Oh, thank you. I appreciate I it. I'm also told that. Yeah. About my calming voice. I think you have a calming voice when you talk. You think I have a calming voice? Some, like, not when you scream, but when you Very talk, relaxing. You know? Yep, okay, thank you, swine. Can you not hear how relaxing it is right now? Very relaxing. Can you give me my pizza? Oh, it's in that. the oven. Oh, you put it in the oven? Yes, yeah, see if it'd stay warm. I don't think it'll keep it that warm. Wait, did you put everything out of the oven? There's they... nothing in there, as far oh. as I can tell. Oh, okay. Look, okay. There's a tray, but I just put it on the tray. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, because I can eat now, chat. Because we're done with reading. Um, we were we didn't play much. Um, we didn't we didn't do that much last time because I wanted to end quickly because there was like the strike happening and I didn't want to play into the strike. Mm. But um, also, it's the game. The game's a bit hey, loud, you know isn't what? it? I reckon that's actually pretty successful in how warm yeah? that. Aww. I reckon it's actually not that bad. What? I'm done with mine. I didn't need the full thing. I just should have just probably just got a small one, but I got a... No, no, I, I ate between the medium and the small. I wasn't too yeah. hungry. I mean, mine is small. <gasps> it's so cute. Yeah, it's yours is so a cousin, right? Yeah, it's a cousin. Um, but yeah, we didn't play that much. Um, what happened was, uh, basically we got introduced to Max, which is the main character and the character that we're playing. She is a photographer, or she's studying photography at a uh, university that she moved back to um it's in her in her like where she was born and now she moved back to it um we got introduced to max max our beloved who almost got shot who did get shot but we um saved her because we can rewind time which we have oh met. true yeah who else was almost shot once mm. corpse husband really yeah oh sure i didn't know that i know that hmm. <laughs> It's true though, it's genuinely true. Oh, well, Chloe, what did I say? You said Max almost got shot. Oh, but shoot. Then she no, I mean time. Chloe, I mean Chloe, I mean Chloe. But yeah. I remember actually this much because I watched Jacksepticeye play it. Mm -hmm. But only like this episode, I think. We actually already played these, so I'm quickly gonna do the. Because I didn't save, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Max. But. I'm I know everybody gonna loves being asked do everything to that we that we did before. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Why is she speaking in the third person? Hmm? Sure, I always have time for you. She speaks What's in the, the third petition? person. David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around so the campus. Oh, we signed the comms. Classrooms, the, gym, what is it? We signed the thing um, that we Black don't Hall want Academy surveillance should be cameras. A high school, not a high security penitentiary. I understand. Hmm. That's crazy. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. 
from the Native Bezel, thank you so much for the gift of stuff. I appreciate it. Thank to you. the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Mm-hmm. Um, you know a lot. We've you already talked to her. You so. know a lot. You know a lot. You're, you're a big brain lady. Wow. Crazy, you should be a teacher. You should be like a teacher or something with how much you know. You could teach people about these things. It's so crazy. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep yes. our campus from going back We're to 1984? Sign. <gasps> George Orwell! Oh, 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 well. What? George Orwell. George Orwell? Yeah. But not pure surveillance. I knew you oh, do they? Oh, you can't Blackwell change the stream category? Reason. Okay. Ah! You, you dropped a pizza! Okay. You dropped a <laughs> pizza! I dropped it ah, lab. Where'd it go? On my lap. Oh! Oh, this is. I'm mortified. Oh, I can't handle this. Oh, it's too much for my Saturday evening. It's it's Sunday morning. Oh. I made a TikTok of designs I like, and since it is for you, I would love your help designing. Oh, it's too much. Oh. TikTok is same user as this on the clock. Oh, thank you, Jenna. I appreciate it. I do get quite a lot of TikToks like of myself, I like for myself. On my for you page, I think I actually I got Sarah's on my for you page the other day. Mm. Warren wants to meet us in the car park. Mm -hmm. sure. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. We're gonna talk to Evan. Evan? Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Um, it was Kappa. Robert Kappa, of course. I love Kappa? Him, despite yeah, the like Kappa the Twitch emotes? Oh my god! <laughs> my, my. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm upping that engagement for you, yeah, please. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, hey, you're more than welcome. I appreciate it. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd yes, honest, I would love that. Ooh. Let's look at the journal. I don't actually know if that gives us anything or if we just did that These for nothing. These photos are great. <clears throat> and Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing but it's about rachel amber so he knew rachel amber um and then oh i did not want to do that i did how do i stop okay never mind it's okay um and then we have uh, this person who daniel who we let draws and i think What's that is daniel? all that oh, all of the things I'm like telltale yeah. things that we can do Ask you a question? so then we can go to Would you our dorm room letting me sketch you I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Mm-hmm. I'd be honored. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Mm, what happened to her? So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. So many coppers in Some people said she ran away. I say? Some say she Jumped off a cliff. So many kappas in chat. The kappa ink, because okay. because I said so. Mm -hmm. That's my influence, really. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. You hey, never? thank you so much, no, Paolo, for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you for the gift of Thank you, thank oh, you. She was a natural. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way. You're a good substitute muse. Thank you, Daniel. That's very sweet of you. That's very sweet. Mm -hmm. You are a really oh, good second sweet. best. <laughs> Since the first one is missing, she's been missing for a while. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose that's very kind of him, really. Mm hmm. What if it comes out just shit? What? Oh no, it's good! Best portrait ever. It's really cute. He does study it. Probably no, but I kind of want. I was yeah. kind of expecting it to be really shit. Mm. And then it was going to give you the option of going, that's shit, mate. Or oh. going, oh, that's really nice. And, and lie. Mm. Justin Bieber. Yo, Justin Bieber. Check out the max. Come to Thrash. What? Thrash. Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or. You're such a poser. 
If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. I'm sorry. I don't know much. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Check out the Can max. Mm -hmm. I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. No. She's not a poser. I just can't skate. <laughs> oh, check it. We're going to destroy some rails for you. Okay, that's gay. Just too like me. Oh, shit. Um, I want to see a three flip. I Go for a tree flip. Let's get tree Trevor flip. all over that action. Let's get Trevor. Tre Go on, Trevor. Oh, oh, oh I hit himself oh, in the nads. No, Trevor. Oh, his okay? bollocks. No, he's hit himself in the bollocks. Oh, I can he's... take a photo of him. That's a bit rude, isn't it? She just took a picture of someone who is in pain. Yeah, but it's, it, it, it's in his nads, so it's funny. Oh. oh no, and now he's just sitting there. Oh. That's just rude, Max. You don't do that. Why would you dwell in someone's happy, uh, in someone's not happiness and someone's pain? Who knows, really? Oh, by the way, this keeps happening. What? And I think it's from my graphics card. Do you see, like, the outline? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did that last time. And I was hoping, like, I, I restarted and everything. I was hoping it would go. Oh, shit. But it didn't. It hasn't done the w other things, though. Since no, I did the thing. Yeah. Back to the dorm. This day never ends. This, oh! She has to go back to her room? Yeah. This day never ends! This day never ends! She has to go back to the room so she can <laughs> oh, sleep no. and end the day? Oh, no. This day never she ends! Actually isn't, she, hasn't, she actually isn't ending the day. She's getting her hard drive to then meet her friend. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's that's understandable. Mm -hmm. Bully much? No bully thinks what they're... They're a bully, so think about that before you bully. If you think you've become a bully, please go to www.bullyforyou.or. We'll stand up for you. What? Okay. I don't be bullying people. I'm waiting generally very kind-hearted. Parking lot, so I oh. better get back to my dorm. I'm gonna grab an anchovy. Just because I'm, I'm sick and I eat anchovies. Okay. Yeah. And this is where the I otters that perform the their way. aquatic magic. Okay. Otter power? Can you I'm swim so to success? Join one of the top high school swim teams in the nation. Whoa! It's regrettable. You should get a lot of mileage out of it's otters. Just salty. <laughs> you don't like it. It's just salty. Aww. But where's the... I'm freaking... Ooh, that's cute graffiti. Look at that. Oh, that's not nice. Oh. Poor little otter. Never mind, it's not cute. No! What the fuck? They ain't otter. Otters are my favorite animal. Aww. Well, now I'm... I'm miffed. Aww. Aww. I'm sorry. At least switch to e six. At least vape like a cool fucking kid. My god. Bet you don't even smoke like 10 nick. I smoke 50 nick. A what? I'm just speaking in vape terms. Um, I guess you're a poser. I'm a poser, yeah. <laughs> vape like Big Russ, true. Big Russ likes his vape. Oh, does he? He does. I, I don't know why chat knows that. I guess someone spoke about that before because Big Russ does like his vape, but hmm. I don't know who told him. Who told you, Chuck? Who let you know Big Russ be puffing on the vape? Come on, Logan, bring it. He'd be, he be making clouds. Tommy made fun of him. Yeah, fair mm, enough. Tommy. It is, it is, it is his Big Russ. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, oh, Nathan's god. family owns my dorm? Oh god. So Nathan is the guy who had the gun and shot Chloe. Oh yeah. He's a prick. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. I talked to her. Oh. Hi, Max. Mm, how are you? How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Hmm. Sorry. I really have to find out what happens. Um. Can I rewind? I always keep pressing the wrong button. Sorry, chat. Can I rewind? To, like, speak to her oh. about 
Nope. What are you reading? What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now if you'll accept it. Doesn't change either way. Don't want to talk to her. God. No. Can I talk to you, Logan? Hi, Logan. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Mm -hmm. Oh, guess we can't take a picture. Because I don't. Guess we gotta wait to till Friday's game. God. Is that great? Football, Max. Big football. Okay. Step away. Step away, Max. Step away, Max. Step away, Max. This is some cool big enough. fucking football. This is a big Max football. Told him his name Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Because <clears throat> that's his name. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what? There's Kate. Looking she is our than beloved. Usual. She is. She is a sweetheart, Hi, and we love her hey, Max. so much. Hey, you look down. You look down. You okay? Awesome. I'm kind of over humanity today. Mm. Sorry to be a drama queen. Mm -mm -mm. Is there anything? You're Max, not a I'd drama like to be queen. Alone, if you don't mind. That's okay. I'm sorry. That's okay, Kate. We will. She's leave over humanity. Us. We will leave. She is. I love her. Oh. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. What, what about that? Is it? It's just a bin. I don't know. <laughs> eco-friendly bin. Eco-friendly bin. Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. He's not creepy, just X Files weird. Hi, mm. Samuel. Well, Hi, Samuel. Hello there. Hi. Well, General Kenobi. <laughs> you are a brave one. Bold one, but close. Oh, fuck. Really close. Fuck. You are a bold one. You look busy. You look busy, Samuel. I'm always up to something. Today it's sweeping, then painting windows. Just I can see why he's, he's got that creepy vibe going on. Yeah. You can't color over that sunlight. Um, you knew Rachel? You knew Rachel? How can you know a prism? You just stare in awe. Sweet. Now I have to it's go to the windows. Um, what happened? What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward like a clock. Samuel, you're weird, mate. Okay, you're weirding Samuel. me out. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. No, ha she was like a battery. I don't know. Positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. See you later, Samuel. Yeah, see you later, Samuel. After I sweep, I paint. What? Right, what are you chatting, fella? You, you're weirding me out. He said he was off to paint, then he just sort of sweep it again. What's all that about? Well, he said after he sweeps, you paints, you know? You'd think with all the rain here in Oregon, you wouldn't need to water the lawn. Hmm. I guess Blackwell has to keep the lawn and plants well manicured to look good on a catalog. Oh, Victoria, can I pass, please? Oh, shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. God. Jack has never seen mean, go <laughs> mean girls chat. I uh, know. Why would I want to watch Mean Girls? It's a classic! Yeah, but like, so is like, fucking, you know, like, Nosferatu, but you probably haven't seen no, that. No, I haven't. Or like, Frankenstein, you know? I haven't, but look, look at it. Yeah, I know, it's it's so good. I'm making him watch it. I will make him watch <laughs> it. Don't worry, chat. He will watch Mean Girls. Oh, yeah. I just want you to know that she tried to pat me as she said that and missed twice and went <laughs> above my leg. <laughs> and I thought it was really funny. <laughs> Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wake You stop saying saying Mark. Do you the do? Nigerian you don't have processor. no right. He's a teacher. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Literally, you could just go past oh, it. Wait. Hold that pose. For what? So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now. Well, thank you for giving us clout. What? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. If she just posts, if she just fucking posts Sorry, a picture no of us for no reason, allowed. like okay. Shut up. Yeah, but what was the selfie line? That, that confused me. I don't want to mess with that ladder mm. and hurt poor Samuel. And she has a winter camera. I just want and to get like Victoria the hell uh. out of winter the way. Stuff. Well, how am I? I'm gonna get Victoria. Samuel. I know that I have to do something here. What is it? Water pump? 
This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look um, at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. God. Well, life, how about you leave this Life gets time. fucking hard sometimes, right. doesn't it? Like, so sometimes you can't hard. chill on the now steps. you understand English? Get lost. Can you shut the fuck up and just let me go into my bedroom? Can you God. can you get past now? Or? Mm. Oh, go on. Knock mm. a bit of paint on it. Alright. How do I make it faster again, chat? How do I ruin faster again? There we go. No. Even further. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. So weird something. Alright. Guess we'll make her get your okay, job with paint. Okay, this works. Me when I can't even chill on the steps. Mm-hmm. It's not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Mm -hmm. Hold her. on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Mm -hmm. Caroline, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh... Hey, Victoria. What do you want? Oh, there's. Max? We're not gonna be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking make fun of her. She Don't. deserves it. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Yeah, exactly. And no filter media. You know, I'm nice to everyone us. who's nice to me, but if you give me that energy, I'll give it no, back to you. Please move. I've had a messed up day, and I'm going to my room. You do that. I know where you live. So does Nathan. Yeah. And what's Nathan? Going it's to in do? the dorm, dickhead. Well, of course you fucking. That. <clears throat> All right, these are the dorms. I actually really Room like the dorms. I remember I like no way the dorms. Hell am I ever going in here? Oh, okay. This has red room. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who posted Does these. It? This has red room on it. Yeah. Man, people here are merciless. So sex. So what? Happened? Oh, yeah. Actually, hell. no. I think you'll find Victoria out what happened. Pissed. We took so long. I think you just need to go to your room, right? Yeah, I just like to look at these. Because I think I believe we can go to Kate's room. Question mark. We'll bang for Jesus. Oh no, this is Kate's room. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Don't let depression keep you down. Everybody gets sad and lonely. And if you need somebody to talk to, please call us. Okay. Me to still murder. Pickle Rick? Yo, that was before it's time. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. They got Pickle Rick in there before that <laughs> even existed. That's the funniest existed. shit I've ever seen. That's the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> James Marriott's cat has a Pickle Rick toy in that. I, I liked that a lot. Oh, oh yeah, true. It Give does. me a fucking break. There'll be a chance you wish there will be a chance. Be the change you be wish the to see. You wish to see. Can we go in here? No. I thought we could go into some, a Gandhi one of the people's quote. Why does Victoria have a Gandhi quote? Victoria is not the change we wish to Big see. Big Gandhi enjoyer, I guess. Okay. Okay, let's just go to our dorm. <clears throat> oh, actually we don't have anything. How here. sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Let's do something then. Draw a pickle, Rick. Aww. Sad. Little bear. Little guitar. 
sweet home, sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Oh, erase Kate's. Oh, I'm sorry. Could I? Can I do it afterwards? Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, wait, can I leave? I guess I can't, right? Because I have to do. I have to get war instead. But no, but you can leave though if you click on it. Oh. Hi honey, your principal sent me an email saying that he is concerned about your attitude and behaviour that you're not fitting in well and hiding in your dorm. I know it's hard to be away from home even, even if you're all grown up now, but you're the, there to change the world with your camera. Please call me soon to chat. We miss you. XOXO. Mom. Yeah, I can. Wait, can I leave? I need to grab a flash no. drive on my desk. Okay, I'll try it. I'll, I'll do it after. I'll do it after chat. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for Shall myself. Shall we play some guitar? Is that DMCA? Is playing this guitar DMCA chat? Because some not, some of the songs here are DMCA. Oh, shit. No? Alright. Yes? Unsure. <laughs> 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 not worth the risk. Okay. Not worth the risk. Okay. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Aww. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. <clears throat> Happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. It was your special day. Thank you so much for the sub, uh, Dominus Trap. I appreciate it. We miss you. The mouse trap. The mouse trap. We miss you. <laughs> We're so proud of you following, that you're following dreams. Love you, mother and father. Okay. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are good. I like my wardrobe. She don't give no shits. Helping me get my mind of the fact my brother is in the hospital. Oh, I hope he gets better soon. I'm so sorry to hear mm. that. Mirror photo. Ooh. A mirror selfie? One of the classics. What, what, what? Nice. Nice. Okay, let's just. Oh, ooh, I want to look at the photo album. <clears throat> Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Mm. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know how much there is. To, like, there's a lot to look at, That's obviously. That's the but... only tourist <gasps> picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Okay. There's a troll. A troll? It's cool. We do a little <gasps> bit of trolling. Go water your plant. You are. I need to water my plants. I'm the worst Wait, baby mama. It's Tuesday. Drink up. Remind me Tuesday to water my plants. Okay. Thank I you. should be back by then. Okay. This action will have consequences. Oh, is it gonna survive then? That's really nice. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Oh, hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down to my room, XOXOD. Oh, great. Well, now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. I guess so. I look so pathetic. Why do you look pathetic? What do you mean? Max, friends, 81 subscribers, 12, Blackwell, Asper. Hasper alert. I don't know what Daniel has so much talent. Oh, it's a picture that she made. That I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. No. I am so addicted to this site. Can Look at these approach. vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. <clears throat> it's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of, my, of gratitude. I also have a rather... Electric. electric collection of TV, cold classic, and fucked up films on a fat flash drive if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now you can quickly explain to me how a camera works? Can you quickly explain to me? Uh, be seeing you, Warren G. Oh, bless. They're really sweet. Warren seems like a, like a, like a sweet guy. What a sweetheart. <clears throat> what a sweetheart. What a sweetheart. 
His name is Warren G. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. <sighs> Ooh, there's a fight going on there. Welcome All right. to the real drama queens of Blackwell. There we go. Let's erase it. <clears throat> That's what I wanted to do. Why is it so pixely? I don't know, chat. <sighs> I, I really don't. I, I know it's annoying. Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Ooh. Well, what did she do? What did she do? <gasps> what didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? Just, you never I, talk. I, Just I, zone uh, out with your camera. Just need That's help. I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, uh Juliet uh, Mason. Uh, Juliet <coughs> Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. I knew it'd be Watson. I knew it. Yeah, you did. Well, uh, well, 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 rewinding and speaking. Hey, Julie. Oh, yes, Max. Hey, I'm Juliet. This is so stupid. Juliet Watson. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Yeah. Thanks. I locked Dana in because did. she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Um, I can't believe that. It's not like I've heard it before. Um, how do you know? How do you know? Victoria Chase. Oh, you of know course her. it's Victoria. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Oh, God. Well, I guess we're gonna go to her room because she didn't even close it. What a bitch. Sorry, I don't like her. I, I can tell. I mean, it's understandable, isn't it? You've seen Oh, it's quite chats. a nice room, though, isn't it? It is a nice room. Nah, she's made it look <laughs> nice, though. So, do you like her? No, I don't like her. I just, I ha you know. She puts her photographs out there, unlike me. I, I can't sit here and pretend like her, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't respect the fucking interior design. No, well. Dear Miss Chase, thank you for your submission to the craft gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not cap cap compatible. compatible with our mission statement. We appreciate your effort and wish you success in the future endeavors. Okay. Well, good for you. Camera. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. <laughs> Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition <coughs> with that wardrobe. Aww. Those boots are made for walking runways. <sighs> that is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. I wouldn't know. Mm. Me I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. It's the Vortex Club Occult by Juliet Watson. One of Blackwell Damn. Academy's most durable and influential so social groups, the Vortex Club, started in the neon 1980s as a new wave rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Regine era. Imagine Reagan. a time... Reagan. Imagine a time when computer nerds were dumped into, a gar into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for expulsion and even violence male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten now every football football player has two of th two or three exotic piercings so the vortex club was originally a haven for the peer pressure that were that every generation experiences how ironic then that the revolutionary roots of social misfits has become what some students claim it as an elitist cult or is it just envy at one of Blackwell's most successful organizations. We tried to interview Warchick's Club member Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to stop the story from publication. 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 Um, yeah. Well, I guess now we know why she said that her friend... Victoria hates Rachel oh, Amber this much. Oh, God. 
How insecure. Missing. Who cares? <laughs> Bitch. Damn. Internal photographer Mark Jefferson. Oh, exhibition. You're leaving? Just for a sec. Just for a little bit. I'm just Victoria gonna go is a sit. real Jefferson brew. Uh, lay down. Okay. I went tired. I'm fun. just gonna have like five minutes. Aww, have fun. I will. It takes a minute. Have fun. I'll be back. Laying. Okay, bye. Bye. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom. This is the oh, email I need to show there Juliet. There we go. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. um, Victoria Chase to Taylor Christensen. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty text from Dana on Zach's phone. Thomas believed me, and so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn, XX, VC. Okay, um... Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. I believe... No. No, officer, I'm not snooping. I believe my... that there is... Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Oh, shoot. Um, wasn't there, like, something about Kate somewhere here in Victoria's room chat? Do you know? Because I don't want to leave stuff out. Especially about Kate, our beloved. No? Okay. Well, I guess we're going to print then. Um. Wait, where was it? Oh, God, I didn't look. I was looking at chat. Oh, there it is. Okay. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. And leave. Hey. Look. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You but are. And I hope so. Oh, you really well. think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. Oh, I bless. owe you dinner. Still love me? Of and course. You, do my laundry. you are best friends, Thanks, right? Pat. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about <coughs> Victoria. Oh, you bless. set me free. Thank you. I Your want to punch Victoria to the atmos is the stratosphere. Yeah, she's not very nice. She's not a very nice person. She deserves like what I always done. think about like get the flash drive. Because obviously there is like more. people like that IRL who are just total assholes and completely co disconnected from the world because they think they own the world. And what I think about these people is that if they do not, because everyone at some point, sooner or later, realizes that one the world does not revolve around them and two they will not always get everything they want and no is an answer from people um and i just feel like some people just need to learn that sometimes and i'm not saying that in a mean way or like they deserve something bad happening to them because i don't think anyone deserves anything bad happening to anyone but i think people should just learn sooner than some of them do that the world does not re revolve around them, you know. <clears throat> Hello. He really does look stressed about all this. Well, understandable. It would be a cool sticker without the words. Nah. This is both sad and pathetic. What was this? Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumbass forever. <gasps> Pick up. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody but i never had to act around you i'm not the kind of man you deserve you saw how i post out if you need any money let me know oh, okay of course a popular cheerleader like dana would have a million friends oh, damn. so fascinating to get a peek into dana's social media world mm. and i love yes, how he just how so she just doesn't wrong. care Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. 
I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Um, well, Victoria is not nice. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the <clears throat> Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Aww. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Aw, thank you, Dana. Dana seems like, like a sweet person. She seems really nice. Alright, is there anything else except for the flashlight that I can see? <gasps> Ooh. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Ooh. <coughs> oh. Oh, well, Max, that's mine. Thank you. Oh, sorry, Dana. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think oh, you better go. I'm sorry. Um, we should. We nice, should. Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. Yeah, we should not. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Yeah. Let's not do that. It's not. It's none of our business, anyways. Must protect my precious, so Max never way. has to chase it down again. Maternity book. Good lord. Dana really was on her own. Great baby mama. Oh, bless her. Well, we better get our flash drive to Warren. There he is. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take. On my way. Bye. Cute. <coughs> whiteboard? What whiteboard? Whiteboard? We've already seen I'd love it. to make a photo collage of every person We've who posted these. That. This whiteboard? Go, Miss Grant. Oh. Not sure if I will. Oh, it's go. about the thing I'm that we signed. <gasps> oh, I write the board. I already did. I already did chat. Look. Look. It's gone. It's just a peace sign now. Because that's what she deserves. Peace and love. Alright. Let's go. And see our good old friend. Can I talk to you again? No, I can't. Okay, what the hell? Whoa! What was that for? Hey Alyssa. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Matt. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped some God. He did not have to do that. All right. Let's go. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Wait, what? Take a photo? Intervene? Intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse you me, you shouldn't official? be yelling at students. Yeah, and exactly. Hey, Thank hey, you, Max. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. <laughs> I will remember this conversation. Okay, good for you. Take a pic. Oh. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. Yeah, it means no problem, a lot. Kate. Anytime, Kate. Oh, bless her. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Well, he better. Maybe I should rewind. Shut up! No, we're not gonna. No, chat. He, we made Kate happy, and that is all that counts. <clears throat> I 
I need evidence? I, I don't, I have words. Kate can say her, t state her case. You know? I don't want, I'm I don't just I want to take a picture. Time. She was... Can't stand to see people being bullied. Yeah, exactly. We don't want her to be bullied. All right, where's Warren? Hello, Warren. There's so many Come missing persons. Please. Okay, okay. Okay, let me look at your car first. Look at Warren and his <coughs> machine. He's a bro And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? Hello. How are you? Here's your flash. Oh, oh no. no Check out my new wheels. Oh, Ooh, no. Nineteen seventy-eight to, to be exact. Hug her. Now we can go to the drive-in. We're gonna new her oh, just sixty miles away. No. You're a long time, Warren. But then, oh, you okay? Shoot. Oh, I'm strange, so sorry, Warren. Away. I'm so sorry. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. I'm so sorry. Oh, no worries. No worries, Warren. I took a switch <sighs> out of Victoria. I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. All right, then do it. You can draw? You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. <laughs> okay. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That mm, might not be one too. I'll let you know. So did you get a chance to check out the movie booty? That <laughs> one person chat said Max shows host. Oh, she does. She did. Yeah. Thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which uh, seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Mm. Oh, seen it? I don't know. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. What's this conversation? Um, how so? How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the You need a fuck? sensitive woman to kick your ass. Ugh. If I was lucky. What? Speaking well, how, where did that boss, come from, Warren? You down my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Um... I guess we could talk to him. I need to talk to somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. I oh, need everything. <sighs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarre experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. He's real but sweet. I mean, yeah. Life yeah, he's changing. Sweet. He is sweet. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm yeah. one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. Okay. You best tell me what you saw. Now. I saw you. What the Answer me, What bitch. are you talking about? What are you talking I mean? about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Yeah, and that's good for you. you don't have you. to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Exactly. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. What the fuck ever I'm going to use that? That was good, yeah. That's funny. Um, well, I think you should take a step back. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Because you are too close oh, to man. my face. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. <laughs> Whoa! Nobody what was that for? Not my parents, oh. not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom. No. <gasps> Max? Oh. Chloe? Oh. No way. Oh. You again. Warren. Oh, bro, I got this. No, Get Warren. Get oh. your punk asses out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Nobody. Damn. 
Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still maxed out. Chloe, my beloved. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Um, hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, bless him. Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Uh, I guess. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. <laughs> At least you're still a smartass. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Um, only from Mark Jefferson. Only from Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. True. Said, I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. Would you? I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. She's not wrong. Cereal? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. Aww. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. Aw, thank you, Chloe. Aww. We hate step -dish? Oh yeah, we do. Oh yeah, we do. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit home. <laughs> Have I played this before? I have watched playthroughs of it. I haven't, I've never finished it myself. But I've watched playthroughs of it. Only the first one though. I don't know anything about Beyond, uh, about Before the Storm or Life is Strange 2. Uh, I did that on purpose. Like I didn't spoil it myself on purpose because I want to, I want to play them with you chat. So. My yeah. room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Chloe's, is, Chloe's room is my comfort Not place, so true. Well, I can't listen to the music, sorry, because it's DMCA. Um, but chat. It is 3.40 a.m. Um, which means I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave now. Um, I will play more and longer of the game soon. Um, when I start earlier, but I am very tired and I feel like once I get tired my commentary just goes down the drain um, So yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and raid someone um, Oh good <coughs> Chucky Goddess, thank you so much for the sub again. What the hell? It just does that. That's very funny um, Who are we gonna raid chat? <gasps> Emma that's right, Emma. Emma is here. Oh, hey Jack, I'm ending. Are you ending? Yeah, I'm ending. 
Do you want to say bye to chat? Say bye. Yeah, you get to say bye. Bye. <laughs> See ya. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and read Emma. I hope you did. You enjoy the stream chat? Did you enjoy it? Enjoy it. Um, we will be back Tuesday, I think. Or Tuesday, my old days. Uh, Wednesday. Back on Wednesday, uh, with more Life is Strange and more Passerine. Um, maybe some Sims. I actually really want to play Sims or Valorant. I'm not sure yet. I'm just smiling at him. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you're all having a wonderful morning, evening, or day, wherever you are. And I will see you on the next one. Do you want to say something? Bye! Bye!